beer tubers. I'm going to be opening up another beer that was sent to me by Gus. Thanks so much, Gus. And today I'm pretty excited to try this because it is the Yazoo Brewing Company's Hop Project. Uh, Yazoo is a Nashville, Tennessee brewery, and I've been just little by little hearing really good things about this brewery. Um, Gus also sent me their Imperial Smoked Porter, the one called Sue, and I'm really excited to try that one, but I think I'm going to just let it sit a bit just so the smoke characters will come out, you know. But anyways, uh, this is supposedly a really well-known IPA by them. And uh, the thing with them is that if you look on Beer Advocate, this, was, this made it kind of confusing, but they have a bunch of hop projects. And the reason why is because every single batch that they do, they use a different sort of hop variety. So this is number whatever the heck it is. It actually doesn't say anything here, So I'm, but I'm guessing it's in number 60 something or so. Uh, but it does say that it, we take pale Munich and caramel malts and uh, completely overwhelm them with our unique blend of spicy citrus American hops. So I'm going to be expecting some of that in this IPA, so let me go ahead and open it up and I'll show you how it is. Um, yeah, it's, it's got this almost kind of a, like a persimmons kind of orange, very cloudy, murky kind of color to it. Uh, you could tell that it's uh, pretty thick because the carbonation is going up pretty slowly. It, you could tell it's going to be a, a sweet one in that way. That's my guess anyways. Um, let me check the aroma of this. Oh yeah, I could definitely smell some spice spicy elements in this beer. It's almost like it's an autumn time uh, IPA, although it was bottled in August. Yeah, some sweet uh, sweet fruits as well too. Uh, some sweet tropical fruits perhaps. Uh, it smells really good actually, so let me go ahead and give it a try here. Come by. Wow, that's, that's pretty hoppy. And that's coming from someone that lives in California. Uh, yeah, so right away I'm getting quite a bit of that bitter, bitter citrus kind of trait to it. Um, almost like a rye kind of spice, but I don't think there's any rye in this one. But it does have a spicy element to it, which is really interesting. And then the malts come in right away, and it's got this medium sweet kind of trait to it, and uh, the, the, the flavor doesn't really linger on, though. Mm. Yeah, the malts, um, I think the spicy elements of the hops really add to the malts which gives that spicy character, like I said, which is probably why I thought some of the fruity, tropical, sweet notes um, made me think of persimmons. Uh, so I, I do get some of that. I do get, I guess some people might say peach, but I don't really think so. But a lot, a lot of the nectar kind of sweet fruits I, I, I'm getting from this. Um, the, the malt base is pretty interesting, and I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. Yeah, so as far as ratings go, uh, I give this a B+. Plus. Uh, I personally enjoy this quite a bit. I like the bitter character to it. Uh, there's a lot of dimensions to it. The citrus is very citrusy. Uh, there's some spicy elements too, which makes it interesting, gives it a nice dimension to it. And then the malt base, um, I, I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. I like that nectar kind of fruit, tropical fruit kind of trait to this. And it has a good overall finish too. So. So it's a B plus for me. I could see some people might think it's a B, but I I personally give it a B plus and it's enjoyable. Let, let, let's just say that if I happen to move to Nashville, Tennessee for some reason, uh, I would not be bummed out because uh, at least I know I'll be able to get a good local IPA by Yazoo Brewing Company. So anyways, I do recommend it if you could get a hold of it and I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next beer blog. Come by.